Have you ever attended a commencement speech that left you scratching your head? Well, at Ohio State University's recent ceremony, Chris Pan took the stage and delivered a speech and that had everyone talking and that necessarily in a good way. Uh, Pan, an entrepreneur and graduate of the university, caused quite a stir when he admitted on LinkedIn that he had written the first draft of his speech under the influence of ayahuasca, a powerful psychedelic grunt. Little did anyone know, this was just the beginning of the unexpected turn of events. Uh, while many were anticipating words of wisdom about navigating life after graduation, Pan took a sharp detour into the world of cryptocurrency. As a self-proclaimed Bitcoin enthusiast, he passionately and advocated for the digital currency as a hedge against inflation, urging graduates to invest. Uh, unfortunately for Pan, his endorsement of Bitcoin was met with audible boos from the audience, which were broadcasted live during the university's live stream. Undeterred, Pan boldly declared, saving isn't enough anymore. Bitcoin offers a misunderstood asset class. It's decentralized and finite, meaning no government can just print more at will. Not surprisingly, Ohio State University quickly distanced itself from Pan's Bitcoin advocacy. The university spokesperson clarified that they do not approve commencement speeches beforehand, making it clear that they still did not endorse or support Pan's views on cryptocurrency. Uh, some wondered whether Pan's use of ayahuasca was simply a publicity stunt or if it genuinely uh, influenced the content of his speech. Regardless, there were those who found value in Pan's message about overcoming fear and embracing new mindsets. He highlighted common barriers to investing, fear, laziness, and closed-mindedness, urging graduates to break free from these limitations. Uh, so Pan's diverse background as a social entrepreneur, musician, and inspirational speaker may shed some light on his unconventional approach. Uh, so with experience at prestigious firms like McKinsey and Company and PepsiCo, along with stints at Facebook in his current venture, my intent, uh, it's clear that Pan has always been willing to break the mold. Uh, as the fallout from Pan's speech continues, questions linger. Was his use of ayahuasca a genuine creative outlet or just a publicity stunt? And what control does the university and truly have over commencement speeches? Uh, in the end, Chris Pan's unorthodox commencement speech will likely be remembered more for the controversy it sparked than for any pearls of wisdom it offered. Uh, but hey, at least we got a good laugh out of it. Uh, with that said, thanks for watching, and until next time. Uh, note, I apologize for uh, not being able to include storytelling elements in this response uh, due to the limitations of the text-based format.